There was only a handful of guys that I would like to miss the season. It's hard, but I love it. So that's why I do it. Now allow me to reintroduce myself. They call me J-O-A to the easy E. Know that we undefeated. Y'all are beneath them speeds. Let's find the air agreement. But his lines are overhead. Better check the air for clearance. Call the tower. This is our credit. He the air apparent. Really, I've never been better. Legacy, this is forever. Alright, guys. So, Aj Humlog 16. I think 17 days out from the Olympia. So, it's the final stretch. As you can see, energy levels are super duper low. I think my cardio is a little bit more. So, I'm doing 40 minutes fasted. 25 minutes post workout, or usually, like I like to do it, keep meals five and six keep each minute because post workout kind of hampers the recovery, so it depends. Um, so, yeah, this is the second to last like workout today, and it's pretty prep. Man, I don't think many like workout the kaya, so I thought ki, uh, you know, what local mazani ata dekna like skillia, but this I, I trained my legs pretty damn intense, so um, it's getting harder and harder to keep that strength. So I thought I would show you how I actually train my legs. It's obviously a different style of training. I'm doing this prep, as you guys know. And the low volume, high intensity training is I guess moderate volume. Um, it's really like giving me a very different look to my physique because I'm doing a very small prep this week. Uh, I literally started my prep at 12 weeks out. We are a little bit over two weeks out. But the change in my physique is just like there's more density. Um, to the muscle and I think it's because of just low rep range hai. and uh, just like instead of pushing volume like supersets, drop sets, all that stuff I'm not doing any of that it's more so just straight sets uh, super focused every rep is controlled and focused and I'll probably do like kuch rest pause or cluster sets that's just like you have seen but that's pretty much it so feeling good 17 days out I think uh, definitely at the best I'm the leanest I've been um, at 17 days out for, I guess, when I started prep start for any show. Ke liye. So definitely very happy about that. Uh, it's fully prep. Like, I guess this whole year since, I guess, last Olympia has been such up and down, up and down, up and down, that I'm just finally glad ki I can be done with the prep and finally get, get some surplus of calories and make some really, really good progress because after the Olympia I'm more excited about the fact that now Joe made a different style of training here with my training coach Johnny Sebastian um, I think I'm going to make some really really good progress because I've got a hang of what is working for my body so super excited for that um, and just being in a surplus honestly like I think I take one day off after the Olympia Sunday and then I'm back on plan on Monday my rebound plan is already ready I'm going to have Johnny do my off-season as well as my training. So um, it's already plan is there. I'm going to be super uh, strict about it. I don't come back to Canada. I stay in U.S. Uh, for a mask, I will tell you why. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of stuff that has happened recently with, you know, my travel and everything. So um, I won't be coming to Canada. I'll stay in U.S. and just do my uh, rebound. It's pura complete. And other than that, it's... Um, it's going to be a fun week. I get there five days out. So uh, with Nick here, so we're going to do a video every day, make it a vlog. Basically, last year, I didn't do that. So this time, I'm making sure that you guys get to see the whole prep series, just like I did in 2020. So uh, it's going to be a super competitive Olympia, but it makes it that much more fun. Um, it's going to be super fun. And I'm just super excited to be on that stage again and compete and just bring my absolute best. I think after the feedback that I got from Steve, from Tyler, um, from the JM Manny and Jim Manny, and like I just made that whole trip or just such a feedback when I posing cut and training cut and just the things that I have to work on and stuff like it just feels so good and gives me that much more confidence and boost what I need to do uh, <clears throat> going forward. Olympia as well as in the f in the future, so uh, very excited about all of that. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a brutal ass leg workout. So keep it going. It's gonna be about eight exercises or seven. And um, tomorrow is my rest day. And my carbs are gonna go less tomorrow. And then uh, yeah, this is that suffering phase. The more you suffer, the more you push hard through this time. 
uh, the better you look. So it's all, all about suffering and really, really pushing hard mentally. So let's get this going. And of course, like um, this is a new truck I just got. I haven't made a video on it yet. But yeah, this is like a brand new F-150 Lariat um, power boost. So it has uh, 450 horsepower. My other car was 500. And I just have to make some changes to this. Like I have to lift it. So I'm going to make it much, much higher. Like I think like about eight, six to eight inches. So it's going to be super high. And uh, there's one more thing I have to do. I have to change the front grille. Uh, make it more aggressive looking and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it super spacious it's actually pretty fun good change from the car car and it's a lot of horsepower too so and i like it so yeah it's been uh it's been a nice uh, change to drive it winters my brother sunny oe to make a lot of trips to new york because i'll be traveling quite a bit to new york traveling a lot of it to like montreal drive a lot there so uh, long distances, nighttime driving, winters, I think this is much safer. And uh, which my Ascension Foods, just seriously rice hair, I do do a lot of uh, boxes and you know, I want to like expand it more. So add more products to it. So this will just come in handy because I can like, use all this space to uh, go everywhere around Toronto and even other cities and take the boxes with me versus like always trying to get a U haul and things like that. So super. Uh, it's just something that I needed right now with everything I needed. Super excited, happy about it. And uh, my family's gonna come, I think, in January. So my parents are gonna be here. So just more space for everyone. But let's get this going. Leg workout, 16 days out, second last leg workout. I'm gonna go super hard and I'm gonna make sure that every exercise is counted for. So let's get this going. So the first exercise I warm log, I usually hip abductors and adductors to start. Just because that's one of the muscles that a lot of people don't really train, and uh, it's like that small muscle right where that quad is. So I really like to use that. One thing I warm up bhi karta hai liye. basically warms up everything, gets my mind right. And the other thing is these these small muscles like the abductors as well as the glutes. Uh, it's nice to kind of like get them out of the way in the beginning so that my compound movements and the real quads and hamstrings I can really focus so this basically just helps me warm up, focus and uh, hit these small muscles which small details I mean my men's physique I don't really need to get these details but it doesn't matter it's like it's about having a complete physique like a balanced physique and uh, when I started training for bodybuilding I just enjoy bodybuilding so I also enjoy training legs it's one of the hardest days and I enjoy it. So I don't train it right? Like whether And now with the men's physique new rules, like they are going to judge legs too because the shots are going to be shorter. So those people who are men's physique, who compete, who don't do their legs straight, who pencil legs, it's going to be hard for them to, uh, to win it now because they are going to start judging that, especially at the pro level. So you need to have big legs, you need to have uh, that teardrop and you need to be able to fill those shots. So they are going to judge that. And also it gives you a small illusion of a small waist. Your legs are big, your waist automatically gives a good illusion. So I love training legs. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to classic in I'm still in men's physique. But it's just why take away from a muscle growth? You need to have a full, complete, balanced physique. Everything has to grow, uh, including legs.
one more set on this one but abhi mujhe yaad aaya this is a very big thing like an announcement so um, with we are fitness there's a hum log fit expo kolkata december 1st to 3rd first second and third ko kolkata mein ho rahi hai fit expo so i will be there with them because they are the title sponsor and uh, i hope to see a lot of you all jo north east mein rehte hain assam mein rehte hain kolkata bengal mein rehte hain bihar ke aas paas rehte hain jo bhi log wo north east ke area ke paas rehte hain this is a chance to be part of the one of the biggest expos as well as a competition they have like uh, bodybuilding competition just for men's physique bhi hai bikini bhi hai all these a lot of cash prizes so if you want to compete you can compete but if you just agar aapko sirf expo mein aana hai exhibitors ko dekhna hai we're going to have a huge booth with all the gym equipment all the the new equipment as well as their old and then i'll be there so uh, all the viva fitness athletes and everything so it's going to be a great time so i hope to see you all jo aa sakte hain first second third december in kolkata so in their page if you go to viva fitness go page you'll be able to see ki wo kahan pe details ke kya timings hain aur kya wo venue hai but i will be there for sure so i hope to see you guys there i'm super excited because main kabhi kolkata gaya nahi hu so this is my first time and uh, main prep pe bhi nahi hu so i'll finally be able to eat some kolkata biryani and some uh, bengal uh, rasgulla and all that so it's going to be fun i'm excited authentic khane ka nahi all right last last set भी एक्सरसाइज मैं करूँगा आज वी आर डूइंग टू टू थ्री सेकेंड नेगेटिव सो जो नेगेटिव पार्ट ऑफ द मूवमेंट होता है अबाउट टेक अबाउट थ्री सेकेंड्स एंड वी गोना पॉज एट द टॉप सो एट द एंड पोजिशन वी गोना पॉज एट द कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड पोजिशन वी गोना पॉज फॉर वन सेकेंड ईच एंड देन वी गोना यूज लाइक वन और टू सेकेंड्स ऑफ लाइक कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट लाइक रियली टेक्स अलॉट ऑफ फोकस टू मेक श्योर कि द एंटायर टाइम यू कीपिंग द एंटायर टेंशन इन योर मसल लाइक जब आप जब मैं इसको यहाँ लेकर आता हूँ आई पॉज इट बट आई स्टिल हैव द टेंशन एंड देन मैन आई ब्रिंग इट बैक लाइक आई पॉज इट एंड आई स्टिल हैव द टेंशन मैन आई स्लोली ब्रिंग इट बैक जिसमें टेंशन सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट रियली रियली फोकसिंग ऑन द मसल कीप द टेंशन द एंटायर टाइम कंट्रोलिंग द वेट नो यू नो हाफ रैप्स एंड श्री फॉर्म एंड इट्स जस्ट लाइक Basically, it's very similar to what Dorian Yates used to do, but that was very low volume. For me, I'm trying to keep it a little bit moderate volume. So there is like you know one working set, one back off set. So there's two really like uh, sets that are like working, like failure sets, and uh, thori zada exercises vagera bhi hai. But it's the the main concept is like Mike Meinzer and uh, Dorian. So I'm really enjoying this. I've never trained like this. so it's really making a very big it's only been about 8 weeks jab se main ye training kar raha hu and already meri physique mein i can see that uh, green as that density so a one year of just being in surplus and doing this kind of training i mean i'm super excited for um, how i'm going to respond to this
working set. All out, second to last leg press working set. Whoop. Let's go. Let's go. Easy work. Six reps. Let's fucking go. So I was supposed to get six reps. I'd be doing about six to seven. Today is the first week that I was only able to get five. I could feel it. Which is expected. I guess two weeks out when your cardio is so much, calories are so I'm only eating like 80 grams of carbs. So today is the first week. I feel my strength is a little down. So one rep is less, but expected that's okay that's why we track that's why i track my lifts we're gonna do a back off and then that's it so i'll back it off but i'm gonna weight i'm gonna come from 20 person so i'm gonna do 10 plates on each side so bring it to 8 and do about 10 to 12 reps same thing perfect form full range of motion really squeeze the quads out Oh. Oh. 
All right, third exercise, lunges. One warm up, I was about team working set of 24 steps. Second set, almost there. But ask about the core bar lunges until the show. So lunges are the number one exercise to build legs. I know what looks squats ko sosten, but the way lunges hit, it's the hardest. It takes a lot of toll on your okay, heart pay, okay, legs pay, and it works your entire leg. So mere saath se, from jo maine sikha hai, lunges are the number one exercise even for girls to build the glutes. Lunges is the number one exercise. Or Bulgarian squats, same thing.
lost. Whew. Let's go. All right, time to go to sleep. This shit is hard. Har saal, saal bhar, pichle saath saal se, teen show, char show, paat show, lagatar karna. It's like, it's hard, but I love it. So that's why I do it. But agar aap is process ko love nahi karte ho, you're not gonna last too long. If you don't love the process, if you just think. Doing one or two shows is gonna make you a champion, and you'll be a champion like two years or three years. You might want to see guys like Sean Roden and Sean Clarida, who have been in the title for 15 years, 20 years. Title winning. Sean Roden, 42, Mr. Olympia. Sean Clarida, 40. At 40, he became Mr. Olympia. You gotta really love this process to do this for 20 years. Those guys have been doing it for 20 years. That's insane. I went to the gym for 12 years and I still love it but shit doesn't get any easier it's still just as hard especially dieting last 3-4 weeks suffering feeling like shit feeling like you're not even in the universe always tired can't talk to family can't talk to friends you know a lot of sacrifices so Jorog everybody every competitor honestly so it's it's a, it's a choice you get to make. Aapki khud ki choice hai. So better enjoy it. Nobody's forcing you to do it. Whew. All right. So this set, this cluster set hai. Hum log four rep karenge. Fir 15 second ka rest. Fir four rep, 15 second ka rest. So we're gonna do four rounds.
quads are destroyed. Now we do hamstrings. Oof. I know कि मैंने चार या पांच हफ्ते पहले जो मेरे numbers थे, I just want to maintain them. I can't get any stronger. पिछले five weeks या four weeks में I can't get any stronger because my calories are so low. But I can maintain the strength as much as I can. So I know that पांच हफ्ते पहले and last week I did 125 for eight. So if I can do like seven or eight full failure, that means I can preserve the muscle. क्योंकि अगर मैं strength कम कर दूँगा your random workouts karu i'm going to lose the muscle so that's what that tracking really helps There's only a handful of guys that have good legs and men's physique, probably like five or six in total. There's Chiron, Jeremy Bundia, Brandon, me. I'm trying to think. I think that's pretty much it. Brandon's pretty good too. Yeah, I think Brandon's, yeah, Brandon, Jeremy Bundia, and uh, Chiron, they have great legs. Chiron didn't have them, they, he just grew them because of classic. And then that's pretty much it. And yeah, I think I have great legs and probably like five or six in total. Would you ever do classic? Uh, I would, but not for like five, six years. Like I need a lot more mass. And I'll be in, uh, right now I'm just good in men's physique. So I want to keep growing. Still have, a, still have about 10. I still have like 12 pounds to gain to hit my weight cap for men's physique. And 17 pounds for classic. So lots of time. I think in the next three years I should be able to get there. There is no better feeling than training your legs hard as fuck, almost dying. And before that, you're so tired and you don't want to train legs and you don't want to do anything and you're just so like dead. But then you come and then you smash it and you fucking train so heavy and hard and you're like dying and heart rate's up and you're sweating and it's just nasty. And then when you leave, that contentment, that feeling of satisfaction, I don't think there's any better feeling than that. Which is what most people miss out on because legs are obviously a lot of hard muscle growth to train. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of mental fortitude, a lot of physical fortitude to like train them hard. It's still low knee training. But literally, there's no better feeling like Tom Platt. I mean, <laughs> that guy was crazy, like his intensity for leg training. But I like training legs too. I like training intense legs. Not at that level, but I think I go as hard as I can. And it's just so much satisfaction. Back and leg days are always the, um, the hard ones.
So same thing, one working set, six reps, one back off, 10 reps. So with stiff leg, I used to do a lot of dumbbells, but made it dumbbells me. I just feel that for some reason, made it specifically, I hit my hamstrings, I feel my hamstrings a lot more when I barbell use barbell than dumbbells. I mean, for years I was doing dumbbells because everyone says that dumbbells are better. Hota hai. But then I just, for some reason, for me, barbell just hits it better. So don't just go by the baki log ke liye kya best exercise hoti hai. You know your biomechanics are different. Try everything. See ki aapki body ke liye best aapko kaise contraction feel hota hai. And then stick to that. For me, I just find this so much better than dumbbell. So I'm gonna stick to this. And guys, if you want more videos, if you want to make a specific type of video, because I'll make a lot of content at least until the Olympia, after that too. So make sure that you comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really helps to push out more content and more content to make more content and more motivation to make more content and then what you need or what videos you need, make sure that you tell what you want to see like vlogs, some people say that vlogs are more popular So I did a lot of vlogs in New York, I'm going to do a lot more vlogs when we go to Orlando After the Olympics, when I travel, I'm going to travel I'm going to make sure that I can make as many vlogs so like you can see my life in general, not just like in the gym. So make sure you comment, batao mereko kya hai, and I'll uh, keep it going. One more set, and then that's it. Then we got one more leg workout. As I hit, it's not intense. Take all leg workout, and then that's it. That's the end of Olympia prep. Ooh, many years I've been thinking that I'm going to do a 10,000 calorie or 15,000 calorie challenge after the Olympia. Maybe this year, on the Sunday, we can uh, make sure you guys comment if you want me to do that 15,000 calories challenge to eat in. For 10 hours, 12 hours, but the subway so okay, rat tak sone se pele. I think I always wanted to do it. I think I can do that. 15,000 should not be that bad. So, if you want me to do that challenge, comment. Agar 20 comment milenge about the challenge, actually 25. 25 comments about the challenge. If they want me to do it, I'll do it. done with second last leg workout that was like an 85 minute workout 80 minutes 80 minute workout so I always take rest day after leg day whether in off season your prep because you guys can see my leg days are pretty damn intense and uh, if I train my leg day ke baad train karta, last week I think train kya tha. 
बिकॉज मेरी स्ट्रेंथ थोड़ी सी उल्टी सीधी हो गई थी बिकॉज आई ट्रैवल टू एडमिंटन तो मैं वहाँ पे फॉर दर आज सम सफ टू डू देर तो मेरी स्ट्रेंथ थोड़ी सी टेढ़ी हो गई थी आई वॉज सो टायर्ड ट्रेनिंग द डे आफ्टर लेग डे सो यूजली आई टेक द डे आफ्टर लेग डे वन रेस्ट डे एंड देन अदर रेस्ट डे वुड बी आफ्टर बैक डे सो आई ट्रेन बैक ट्वाइस अ वीक एंड I'm just happy to take rest day tomorrow. Rest day ka matlab ye hai ki I mean the only thing I really get to do is like no lifting. Cardio utta hi rehta hai. Abs waisi rehti hain. Carbs actually kam ho jate hain. I'm eating eating 80 g of carbs right now so on my rest day they become 50 g. So it's still shit. But uh, it's a good rest from your central nervous system. But I think I'll probably get a high carb day on uh आज वेडनसडे है ऑन फ्राइडे आई गेट अ हाई कॉप डे बिकॉज आई लॉस्ट क्वेट अ बिट ऑफ वेट लाइक टुडे वॉज माई लोएस्ट वेट ऑल प्रैप सो आई थिंक कल मैं अबाउट वन या टू पॉइंट और ड्रॉप करूँगा विच इज़ लाइक क्रेजी बट दैट इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई वॉन्टेड आई वॉन्टेड टू बी कम्प्लीटली रेडी एट टू वीक्स आउट मार्क सो आज सिक्सटी सेवनटीन डेज आउट है तो बाय द टाइम आई एम ऑन दैट फोर्टीन थर्टीन डे आउट मार्क आई शुड बी फुल्ली रेडी और उसके बाद इट्स ऑल अबाउट जस्ट ड्राइंग आउट एंड जस्ट कैन अ क्रूजिंग इन टू द शो सो लाइक स्लोली टेपरिंग डाउन द कार्डियो स्लोली इंक्रीजिंग द कैलरीज सेंस ऑफ डूइंग लाइक अ हार्ट डिप्लीशन एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट वेर बॉडी इज ऑलवेज स्ट्रेस्ड आई वो डू अ डिफरेंट अप्रोच एंड आई वो बी कम्प्लीटली रेडी बाई लाइक थर्टीन डेज आउट और मे बी ट्वेल्व डेज आउट एंड देन स्लोली इंक्रीज माई कैलरीज एंड स्लोली डिक्रीज द कार्डियो टिल द टाइम आई एम ऑन दीक वीक्स आई डोट डू एनी थिंग ड्रास्टिक ऑन पीक वीक Let's treat it like any other day. So that's the whole point that I'm trying to be ready uh, ahead. So I, abhi ta kam on schedule. I still have about one to two pounds of fat left. Like my skin is a little bit thick. My glutes, jo mere glutes hain, wo striated abhi hain. But I can see that film of skin. There's that skin in my glutes. Jab tak wo glutes se skin nahi jayegi, jab tak mere glutes completely dry and shredded nahi honge, that means I still have some fat. So those are basically jo mere conditioning thi. my glutes was created and dry so i am trying to like make sure that i get there so once i'm there i'm going to make a physique update so this is it for like workout so usually what i'm going to do is mai apna post workout meal apne saath rakhta hu i have 20 minutes of cardio left to do 25 minutes so i'm going to do my cardio on stairs it's going to suck बट स्टेयर्स मैं इसलिए करता हूँ क्योंकि स्टेयर्स मैं कीप द स्पीड स्लो बट रियली स्क्वीज माई ग्लूथ एज एस एड एम रियली ट्राइंग टू लाइक एट स्क्रिएशन एंड माई ग्लूथ सो वेन आई एम डूइंग माई स्टेयर मास्टर आई टू एट स्लो बट आई रियली लाइक ट्राई टू स्क्वीज माई हैंड सिंग एंड ग्लूथ हर हर स्टेप के साथ सो इट बिकम्स मोर ऑफ अ कार्डियो इट बिकम्स लाइक एन एक्सरसाइज एंड कार्डियो सो इट डज लाइक बोथ जॉब और जो मेरा सुबह का कार्डियो होता है उसमें आई जस्ट डू माई my treadmill like inclined treadmill walk so i'm going to do that for 5 minutes then hit up uh, heat my meal up in the gym yahan pe microwave hai so ab main meal khata hu it's literally like 70 g of rice which is nothing and 170 g of chicken so pata bhi nahi chalega kab khatam ho jayega and then that's it uske baad do aur meals hain and then go to bed and that's it so um i'm going to try to see agar hum log ek aur video banate hain friday ko which is going to be my high carb day and also my uh, my shoulder and chest workout so stay tuned make sure you guys comment ki aapko kaisi video chahiye we leave for uh, vegas in uh, 10 days so lot of content coming 10 11 days yeah so yeah nicholas is going to be here at the whole prep we're going to make as much content as possible show my whole day so yeah hopefully ye main aap hi logon ke liye kar raha hu so you get to see my life you get to you know get inspired you get motivated to live this life uh compete it's not easy but we love it and as long as we love it we're going to keep doing it so but i hope you guys enjoyed this video uske baad main aapko dobara milunga and as i said make sure you check out the viva fitness booth at kolkata i'll be there in india december 4th 2nd 3rd uh see you guys next time